food costs, I don't know if you've noticed, but food is getting expensive. Some things I have noticed have gone up 20 to 30% in the last year. That is unmanageable for our budget. So we are doing our very best to grow as much food as we can. It can be done if you are willing to put in the extra hours or even just the extra begging it might take to get the free things. One common expense that you might end up paying for is fertilizers. Now personally, I don't buy the bags of fertilizer. So we get manure from local people that own horses. You do need to watch out in case the hay that they've been fed has had uh, any of the empyrolid sprays on it, the broadleaf sprays that unfortunately are plaguing gardeners everywhere. These particular sprays survive being eaten by the animals and it comes out in the manure and then the manure is still toxic to quite a few plants. You can also look at ways of making compost tea which can even just use weeds and soak them in some water and that will break the nutrients down and mean that you can just spray it on your plants and it's a free fertilizer and it's using up your weeds. Making your own compost is not as hard as it might seem and it is a skill well worth learning. You can add your vegetable scraps from the garden, leaves that have fallen off the trees, lawn clippings. Uh, there are all sorts of things. Basically, if it's organic, it can probably go into the compost. If you have a large area that you're turning into a garden, buying compost can be really expensive. Some might say it's well worth the investment. We definitely paid for it to fill these raised beds, but that is not how we gardened for the first three years here. For the first three years, we did it straight in the ground. We didn't buy compost. Sometimes if there's somewhere locally that raises some kind of animal, chickens, pigs, something, they might get rid of their byproducts for really cheap. So it's worth having a hunt around. If you know someone that owns a horse, chances are they have a lot of manure that they would happily get rid of. You can probably pick up some wood mulch from an arborist for free, depending on where you live. I'm stuck. Unfortunately, where we live, we live too far from town and we've had to pay to get our wood mulch delivered. But you can use other things for free if you can't get free wood mulch spent hay from local farmers is a really good option you can even use your weeds cut them down before they seed and then you can use those to mulch around your plant lawn clippings makes a really great free mulch option as well sometimes if you know someone who does woodworking we know a guy who makes beehives so it's all untreated wood and we get the wood shavings from him and that makes a really good mulch as well just as long as you're not mixing it into that top layer of soil and stealing out in any of the nitrogen that the plants need Seeds and seedlings, of course, are a really important part of growing a garden and you can get seeds, well one, obviously you can buy them, but if you join a few local gardening groups, you'll be amazed at how much people are willing to share with you for free, especially if you're a new gardener just getting started. A lot of people are willing to share either the ends of seed packets that they're done with or even some seeds that they've saved themselves. You might even find a local seed library which will send you seeds for free. Of course, to get started in the garden, you're gonna need some sort of tools. I recommend you get yourself a little hand trowel and a garden fork and a shovel. And other than that, I wouldn't worry about too much else. You can pick these up sometimes for free from friends and family. Alternatively, you could buy some. Uh, secondhand ones are usually perfectly good. In fact, I have found secondhand ones tend to be much better quality and obviously significantly cheaper. Fencing or garden edging can be done really cheaply, either with old tin, scraps of wood that you've managed to pick up from a mill, or even from pallets that you've managed to pick up for free. A great way to stay on top of the weeds is to use something cheap and cheerful. You can buy really cheap black polythene. You can do what we've done. These are some old recycled billboard signs and some free tires, and we use these to cover over our gardens at the end of each season and it keeps on top of the weeds. It smothers anything that's growing and gives me a nice, clean, fresh seed bed for the next season. I know that starting a garden can be really overwhelming, so I have put together a course and a book which will definitely help you. You can check those out in the links below and I will see you in the next one.